So a pleasant day STEM learners. This is the continuation of our previous discussion about the parabolas. So again, we are still on week number two. For this part of the video lesson, we will be discussing about the standard equation of a parabola vertex at zero, zero. So at the end of the video lesson, you should be able to illustrate parabolas in standard position. So let's have a review about the standard equation. Quickly browse your SIPAX and look at these notations. So were you able to review all the parts of the parabola? For a recall, in our previous discussion, we have discussed that vertical parabolas in standard position are parabolas which opens upward or downward. While the horizontal parabolas are vertex at zero, zero, are parabolas which opens to the right or to the left. So the reason why they are considered um, vertical because they have vertical axis of symmetry. And we refer to this one as horizontal parabolas because they have horizontal axis of symmetry. But actually, they are the coordinate axis. So for this video lesson, I will be um, teaching you now how to illustrate um, the graph of a parabola with a given equation. Suppose our given is x squared is equal to 8y. So in the formula, you could already determine what is the opening of the parabola. So this parabola opens upward. Okay, because based from the formula that we follow, when the x part is squared and y part is linear, then the parabola opens upward. Okay, and we consider also the sign of or C. Next is to get the value of or C. So we equate using the formula or C is equal to eight. And dividing both sides by four, our C distance is now two. So again, since this is a structure of a um, parabola with vertex at zero, zero, let us um, draw first the vertex of the parabola. So let me select, okay? So that is our vertex now. And then since we can identify already the coordinate of the focus, the focus now is located above the vertex. So if it is above the vertex, therefore it is located on the y-axis. So our focus is at zero, two. So let me use and identify this point to a zoom annotation. Next part, we also draw an equidistant um, point along the y-axis, this time here. But since outside the parabola, it's not just a point, but it is a straight line, which is what we refer to as what? The directrix of the parabola. Next part is to count eight units perpendicular to the focus of the parabola. So since we have eight units that we need to complete, we will uh, move four units to the um, left and right along the focus. So let's draw the um, latus rectum now along the focus. 
So we have four units there and then four units here to indicate our distance. So since the latus rectum is eight units, therefore, it should also look like this one here, okay? eight units. So you follow it by determining your distance, which is 4C. So this is four times our distance. Next, we identify those points so that we can um, draw the curve smoothly. So you cannot use a compass here, but you just try to perfectly show the curve, okay? But I cannot promise that I could draw it. And since the parabola opens upward, so you simply connect the endpoints of the lattice rectum going to the turning point, which is the vertex, and going to the other endpoint of the lattice rectum. Do not forget, that the graph of the parabola is continuous. Okay, so you put arrowheads. So what are the most important parts of the graph that you need to label? First, we have the Cartesian plane using one by one um, scaling like this one. Do not forget to label the X and the Y axis. Next, you identify the vertex coordinates of the vertex is at 0, 0. The coordinates of the focus is at 0, 2. And since the directrix is located below the vertex, then we form the equation of the line y is equal to negative 2. Okay? So what else? You can indicate the measurement of the lattice rectum. So that is 8 units. And also, do not forget the name of the parabola. But before that, always remember that we also have an imaginary line that creates the mirror of, that divides our parabola into two equal parts. And what is that line? That line is what we refer to as the but the axis of symmetry. So in here, the y-axis is represented by x is equal to zero. So after labeling all the parts, we can now label the name of the graph. So the graph is x squared is equal to 8y. We will follow the same step in determining the, or illustrating the graph of a parabola which opens upward. So what if we have this example? So it's negative eight. So using the same pattern, this time it will be two units below the vertex here. And then two units above will be the rectrix, okay? And then eight units along the focus of the parabola, that is where you draw the parabola which opens downward. So did you observe the distances? This is the latus rectum. Again, it's eight units because this is our distance or C. Did you get it? And this one is our C distance and this is also a C distance. So with the same computation, we use it as um, for C is equal to negative 8, and then dividing both sides by 4, then you will get C is equal to negative 2, which gives you an idea that it is a parabola which opens downward because C becomes negative. Take note, there is no negative distance, okay? So you might be confused because C should be positive always since it's a distance. There's no such thing as a negative 2. But when we obtain its absolute value, negative 2 only indicates that it is, the focus is located below the vertex, which determines its direction. Okay? 
Do not forget to label everything, vertex, measurement of the um, length, which is 8. It's not negative 8 because there's no negative 8 length. It only shows in the formula. Negative sign is only shown on the formula, but still, that rectum is 8. Can you follow? So, um, negative sign indicates only the direction. But I would just like to be clear with you that it means positive distance. Okay? It's only a guide for you. Next. Consequently, when the um, equation of the parabola becomes y squared is equal to negative 8x, it also follows that the parabola now will be opening to the left. Okay, so we count two units again because our C is negative 2 and positive 2 here. So since it opens here, so these are the endpoints of the lattice rectum following our pattern, eight units, which is 4C. Can you follow? Connecting our vertex going to the endpoints of the lattice rectum and we form the Parabola. parabola which opens to the left. Do not forget to label the important parts with the previous example that I have given you. Okay, so I'll clear first. The same thing with a parabola which opens to the right. So again, since 8 here is positive, this time the parabola will still be vertex at zero, zero, but this time the focus is located to the right of zero, okay? And then we'll move again four units up, four units down to determine the lattice rectum, connect, connect the vertices and the endpoints of the lattice rectum. And then we now have a parabola which opens to the right. Again, do not forget labels just like how you label your relationship with your JOA. So as a summary, always look at this um, guide for you um, not to get confused. Here are again the references used in this presentation. So did you learn something today? For our next part of the video lesson, we will talk about standard equation of a parabola vertex at age k. So this time, the vertex is now located anywhere on the Cartesian plane. So hindi na siya sa origin. Now, it will be located kahit na saan. Hindi siya sa quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 